bear with me here, Nami players, because I'm cooking with something here. Inazuma. So I've talked about this deck card before. I, I've thought about it and I have to really think like, okay, it's not really that good in Nami, right? But I got to playing, I got to building around it. So firstly, six cost 7K, end of your turn. If you have two or less cards in hand, just draw two cards. So I'm thinking, okay, it kind of works like Deathwing. Six cost 7K, counter for 1K. It's impel down type, so it's searchable by buggy. So you'll notice this list is playing four buggies. It's replaced the Deathwinks, and it's playing impel down. It's playing uh, Brickfist as a four of, and it's playing Mr. Ones, playing the buggies to look for it all. Two Zephs only. In Azuma, though, what I didn't realize was this card draws you two cards if you have two cards. It draws you two cards if you have one card. It draws you two cards if you have zero cards. And if you have two Inazumas out at the same time and zero cards in hand, you draw two cards. Then the other, the second Inazuma checks the fact that you have two cards because it's two or less and still draws you two cards. The card is actually like low-key sick. So it's actually kind of better than Deathwing, kind of not. It's kind of equivalent in the sense that Deathwing is also a counter. You need to feed it. Uh, you need to work around it to have that draw to effect. But Inazuma really works against the removal matchups as well because you get your immediate value as the turn ends and your opponent can remove, but you still draw two cards. Regardless, you don't need to be at two or less and you draw up to two. If you're at one card, you draw two. If you're at zero cards, you draw two. If you're at two cards, you draw two. You have four cards in hand. Card's actually pretty sweet. Look out for more games later this week. Enjoy these first couple as we spice it up with Inazuma. We're playing some NL and we got all the Inazumas in our hand right now. I don't <clears throat> I don't think that's exactly what we're looking for. So let's Yeah, we got we got a mug in the sand. Uh all right, I mean, you know, we got stuff and things to do. So I will deploy. Uh yeah, we'll grab this and we'll kind of rearrange the bottom. Maybe like this, and then we can kind of draw into... We can honestly put it like this, too. <clears throat> and then we can draw into that last piece. So I'll return it like that. <clears throat> My apologies, folks. Um, so now we, we can go Gavel, Pitch, Impel. It's been a while since I played NL. The last time I played NL, I keep I kept like mistaking it for the fact that it might play a big mom, but you, you can't in this deck. Um, so regardless, we're going to do this. Beauty. I just want to get some value off an Inazuma. That, that's really what I want to do here. So I want to go. Mm, yeah, I'm, I'm going to do this. Drop buggy and thing. And then. Yeah, I don't mind doing this. Uh, grab a Mr. One and then just rearrange it like this. It doesn't it doesn't really matter. I think we'll be pushing more cards to the top anyway. So at some point, we want to get empty handed. Mr. Ones are great here because they can recur the gum gum gavels to really empty out our hand. I don't know if this is exactly going to be the final build of my Inazuma Nami deck, but I think you generally want to be more proactive, right? Because you want to be playing out more cards, emptying out more cards because Inazuma's condition is really restrictive. It's the end of your turn, not the end of your opponent's turn. It's the end of your turn. You have to play out more cards. You have to draw into your counters and play out your characters. So it's it's really kind of, uh, I should say, problematic in that sense. So let's draw a card here. Perfect. We'll kind of keep it pushing. Draw two. I like that. So what we'll do is we will just... We'll do this, draw two, discard, discard, keep these. I'm not going to play out the Mr. One because this, my gavel will probably just pitch the Mr. One. And then after that, I have to kind of go draw, draw, or you know what? This might be a bit of a, this might actually be a, 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 a bit of a, a bit of a thing. I might actually go gavel pitch peel off. This might actually be like some high tier, high tier move here. It might be too advanced for all, all of y'all. It, it, it probably is correct to go Inazuma, but I kind of want to play Inazuma. At this point, Inazuma is not set up. So I probably should just pitch the Inazuma when, when it attacks. So gavel will kill the Kaya. They'll swing in five. Um, in that case... I'll just counter out with the Inazuma, honestly. Yeah. I'll just counter out with the Inazuma. I'll just go draw, draw. It's not a problem. 
So they see it. That's a brand new card for them. Um, so we're going to go peel off. Bang. And then we'll play. Uh, we have a bunch of one drop stuff. So um, we're at 21 cards. We haven't really used it in Azuma. It's like in my fury of of trying to set things up. It's like the handle player hasn't really done anything. I'm almost almost at to, I'm, I'm going to untap with like 18 cards. You know, 18 cards, five life, which is an insane spot considering this board. Uh, they haven't really applied much pressure at all, but I really want to try and get this in a zoom out. Um, be more proactive. Okay, all right, they're, they're KOing stuff. <clears throat> I'm gonna start swinging. We're gonna do this, right? Perfect, and then we'll go gavel pitch spotta. Yeah, we'll go gavel pitch spotta here. So I kind of just want to get it out, right? I just want to get it out of my hand and start milling cards. And there you go. The Inazuma is great here. So we're going to do this. Do this. This will go gavel pitch, gavel pitch. And then hopefully next turn. Hopefully next turn. We have exactly one, two, one, two, three. I mean, we can play this out now, which I think is correct. I'm going to deploy this now and then pass the turn. No effect at the end of my turn. I end my turn. Opponent, I guess, has to end their turn as well. Or no, they go to theirs. Yeah. So I think it's correct just to use up the Dawn now. And then hopefully next turn, I don't know. I used up my Mr. Ones. But see, here's the thing. Here's where it becomes a little tough. If I have two or less cards in hand, Oh, I didn't even realize that. It's two or less draw two. I could have one and draw two. It's not Deathwing. Low key? Low key better than Deathwing? Wait, hold on. Okay, that changes that changes my mind a little bit because I can untap with one card, play it out, and then it's good. They don't want, they don't want to see me succeed. <laughs> Yo, they don't want to see me succeed. They don't want to see me succeed. All right, all right, all right. I'll take the 5k. This is... Uh, this is 8. Or I can't block out 9. So I want to block out this one. Yeah, I want, I, want to, I want to block out this one. I'll take the 9k. This doesn't have a rush, yeah. Uh, so let's swing 8. Yep. I'm at 13 card 6 life. Nah, come on. I wanted to use the Inazuma. All right, no trigger effect. All right. Bet. Get the Gavel back. <laughs> nah. All right. Um, one, two, three. Okay. I'm going to attach all this Dawn and then attack. What is this? I attach how much Dawn there? Six Dawn. This is 11k. So we're going to have to Gadatsu. I'm swinging out big gat. Big gat. Uh, pass the turn there. So I'll redraw with the beam. I'll redraw with the beam. Mill two with whatever I redraw. I just hope it's not like a peel off or something, but whatever. Um, and then, yo, banish? Banish, eh? Yeah, that works for me. Uh, Honestly? I'll just trash this for counter and resolve. I'll take I'll take a hit because I'm going to be taking three hits here by the looks of things. It's going to be like three. What are they playing here? Oh, lordy lord. Okay, I did not plan for another one. All right, we lose a card. Ooh, that's a good trigger. That's a good trigger. I could have returned uh, this buggy to look for something like an Inazuma. Uh, we're going to have to let that resolve. No hit. Okay, are they going to attach a bunch onto a Kazuki? Yeah, all right. Well, fair enough. Um, I may just take the hit here. Yeah, I'll take the hit just just for, you know, just to maximize the amount of cards that I have. Um, so we'll deploy. We'll lose a buggy. Inazuma is absolutely hilarious. How do I want to play this? <clears throat> Inazuma is like absolutely hilarious.
Do I want to force the Inazuma? I don't think I do. Not at this point. But it can draw me two cards. That That's the thing. That's the power of this card. It can just draw me straight two cards. Which I think I'll do. Oh, it doesn't draw me straight two cards here, though. Might have been a mistake. All right, whatever, whatever. Um... There's a dock into this stuff. Yeah, in the turn. Oh, wait, it's two or less. Yo, it literally, no, wait, this card's actually kind of goaded. Wait, it's two or less. It's two, one, or zero. Wait, wait. Nah, wait, this card's actually kind of sick. Even if I lose this game, even if I lose this game, this card's kind of sick. This card's kind of sick. Hold on now. Hold on now. This card's kind of sick. Yeah, I'm going to place this on top. Draw this. Wait. This card's kind of sick. Hold on. So if we go redraw, if we go redraw, yeah, if I go redraw to six, get the buggy, get the Zeph to seven, I take this hit regardless. Then they swing 10k at me. Then what I can do is I can go redraw seven. Yeah, redraw seven, and then I can go eight. Yeah, so I take this hit. I take this hit, no trigger. Yeah, okay. Yo, Inazuma's kind of sick. Wait, I actually thought, literally in my mind, I thought this worked just like a Deathwing, but no, it's like miles better. You just draw two raw cards. It's not like up to two. Wait, wait, this card's actually sick. Hold on. Hold on, obviously this is like a very removal light matchup. They're not doing any bouncing. They're not doing anything crazy like that. But that's okay. Um, I think they legit just lose the game here because they just let me spin my wheels, but that's okay. Uh, we'll bounce this, trash cards, and then yeah, we Kaya for the win. Inazuma kind of sick. Okay, all right, I definitely, you know, small sample size. Let's keep, let's keep it pushing, let's keep it pushing. Uh, GG from the opponent here. GG from the opponent here. A little bit of ESO. All my characters get minus one cost. And then they can restand stuff. So black and green kind of really represented there. Uh, all right, we'll run it. <coughs> I don't know if I exactly want to be mulliganing for Akaya, which there you go. I just found. Um, yeah, I mean, they're restanding five or less. So. I think I'll drop the Zeph. I don't think the Zeph is really going to have a lot of value here, honestly. They're playing the removal heavy side of things. Honestly, and you know what's nice though? I will say, Inazuma is a lot more valuable in matchups like this because you get the immediate value out of it. It's essentially six Dawn, just draw two cards, right? Um, which isn't the best thing in the world, but I mean, it's not the worst either, right? It's really not the worst either. They okay, lost to Kaya, that's fine. Brand new coming in. End of turn, you can pay one. Set one of your things as active, which... Okay. What do they get with this brand new? They got a Borso, eh? All right. All right, all right. Um, in this case, we just have one one cost to grab. So we will just return this to our hand so it's safe. We will do this and grab this. And then end the turn. That way our Kaya is saved. And let's see if we can. Now that I know, okay, now that I'm better equipped with with knowledge of how this Inazuma works, 10 down turn, if I'm at two cards, three cards plus, you know, one of them being Inazuma slam, Inazuma, I'm at four. It's, it's not bad. It's not bad. It really isn't. Cost of four or less. Okay. Well, that's fine. 
That's that's how they kill Zeph right here. Literally just for free. Uh, we'll do this. Yep. Lose will do this. Drop that. And then probably just drop this, right? And then end the turn. We can go redraw, pitch. Yeah, so we're at six cards. We can untap to eight. Do a lot here we can do a lot here we can we can get a lot of value out of our out of our next two turns here like my sequencing is redraw redraw rubber band maybe pitch the card that i draw off a of rubber band and then i'm just drawing two cards uh based on that what are they what are they replaying with this uh if you trashed your hand okay they don't have that then play one three cost or less okay okay which, what are you, what are you, what are you doing? You deployed, okay, all right. Strange, strange. Okay. Honestly, if they just attach a bunch of things here, I mean, this just restands. Yeah, this just restands that end step. Like, I don't, I don't, I don't know. I don't really care about that, <laughs> to be honest. I don't care about this restanding. Like, all right, I can't attack it, but whatever. Okay, so I'll just go pitch here. Yeah, this is gonna this is gonna be really sick here. So they're gonna pay one, they're gonna untap. I untap with one card, and then all I do is is Inazuma. And then I'm just drawing two cards. It's it's a beautiful thing. It's it's truly a beautiful thing here. Inazuma might actually be high key goaded, high key, not even low key, deploy. And then I'm going to three cards here, which is like insane to me. Yeah, like just drawing two straight cards. That's a card they definitely want to like get rid of right now because it's actually a pretty decent attacker too. And remember the whole reason you're playing this as well, I probably mentioned this in the intro, is it's impel down. So it's searchable by buggy. Um, it's kind of sick. It's kind of sick. So who's on to draw, which is great. We got a Dawn one to minus at least. And then I don't know. So who's on to draw and then I can really start getting value off of this. Like imagine this, like next turn I on tap with this, I draw a card to four. I, I Zeph, mill two cards, Kaya, draw two, discard two. Um, what that does is that leaves me with two cards left in hand. I draw two cards, like, come on now, B be for real. And then I do this, start by placing cards on top, grab that. I don't really care about the buggy and everything, but yeah, see, this is where things start getting insane. So we're going to deploy, do this, trash two cards, draw two. Mm. I actually don't want the peel off. The peel off does the same thing for me here. I could just take a bunch of hits as well. See, I could just take a bunch of hits because I can afford to. But I don't really want to do that. I think I just want to maximize on this effect right now. So I this is this is crazy, but I'm gonna ditch a peel off. I'm gonna ditch a peel off. I'm gonna use this. Grab an Inazuma. And then bottom deck myself like this. I'm at 19 cards. And then guess what? End the turn. Draw straight two cards. Come on. Yo, I've drawn four cards off this Inazuma. Four cards off this Inazuma, which is crazy. And then, and that's what's great about it. Against the removal matchups, you just play it and you get your value immediately and you just keep going. Like they have to answer this thing. Um, I could start swinging at them, but I don't like, I want to swing at the characters. I don't really want to be swinging at like the other stuff. Um, okay. Yeah. And they're just gonna, yeah, they'll replay the brand new. Good value. Good value. I hate holding my mic here. I, I need to get my mic stand back. Okay, Don Quixote. Yeah, okay. Uh, fair enough. We will go... I think we just want to mill cards right now, but we'll go... You know the true dream scenario, and I'm thinking about it right now? Double Inazuma. You go draw two, draw two. You draw four cards. I actually want to get that going right now. I want that so bad, but I probably will have to take a hit here. 
four cards. Like, I literally, I literally could be drawing four cards. Hold on. I got to think about how I want to do this. Because I think I'll take this hit here. I, I just want to set this up so bad. I want to set up double Inazuma so bad. Because the conditions, I believe, I don't know if they check at the same time, if this ability resolves at the same time or one at a time, and they check different states. I'm not sure. I'm honestly not sure. And rest this character. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So... Uh, I think what we'll do is we'll go gavel pitch trash cards and still take the hit. Definitely use that trigger. Okay. I was trying to find a character, but that's okay. I was trying to find a character. So I think what we'll do here is we'll just deploy this and honestly, just see how this works here. I, I honestly just want to see how this works. Um, so we'll go. Inazuma attack the Kuzan. Right. Right. In his, and then Nami attack Kuzan. Let's see here. Nami attack Kuzan. Like I just I just want you to block. That's it. I just okay. Well, alright. Um end the turn. Activate next, this one. Yeah, okay. So it sees it kind of individually, but we have like kind of two set up here, which is which is nice. So it's not bad. I, I think we've pretty much confirmed the win here. This the, unless they can remove both Inazumas here. Um I pretty much I pretty much won the game. Cost of five or less. Okay, yeah. So one of the Inazumas can die. Okay, perfect. Yeah, but I mean you you gotta kill both of them. You got to kill both of them. The, the, you know, six cost Sakazuki isn't exactly going to be, you know, doing much, doing much to me here. Inazuma just six cards at this point. I mean, like when it's giving you all that free value, when it's giving you all that free value. Um, resolve. Uh, and yeah, as long as Kaya stays up, these brick fists wouldn't be the game. So, yeah. These brick fists wouldn't be the game. I don't, I don't know how they think they can even attack to really win. Uh, sure. I can go to right, and then we'll go thing. Yep. Oh, it's five or less. Oh, no, it's four or less. How do they get it further? <laughs> They're like, they just matched me. They're like, damn, you're near. Yeah, it's... I'll just... They're like, I, I, so it looks like they, they've never experienced Nami. They're like, damn, you're near. So this is how Nami works. And I'm like, yeah, it's GG. <laughs> it's GG. Uh, yeah, I think, uh, you know, they'll, they'll get to experience it. What's crazy here is that it seems like based on the, the text here, uh, uh, it seems like based on the messaging here that they've never experienced Nami before. And it's kind of weird because like, they, they won't get to see that this is a non-traditional Nami list. That this is me abusing new players. Uh, this is me abusing new players. So I'll take the hit. No trigger. Um, and then they can they can swing with the brand new. Which is actually good for me. But, I mean, look. I'm going to untap to five. We're just going to... Oh, sorry. This. And then we'll draw to... Yeah, there it is. That's all I needed. Um, and then, oh, right, right. I forgot I set this up. <laughs> They're like, oh, oh my God. <laughs> yeah, GG's. GG's, GG's. All right, let's get one more game. In. Zuma against Yamato. All right. Triple Kaya. I'll make it work. I'll make it work. Um, nah, that's sick. Fishman or Merfolk. What is this build? What is this build? Okay, all right. Uh, bang, bang, and then pass from there. We'll go, if they swing thing, we'll go gavel pitch rubber band. We'll just go gavel pitch rubber band, but okay. Right, and then we'll go, we don't need an Inazuma right now, per se. Uh. Yeah, I gotta lose the Inazuma. All right, end the turn. Um, we have Love Love to redraw and keep going. 
Sucks that we had to lose an Inazuma here, but Inazuma should be pretty good here. This is a deck that generally speaking doesn't really play removal. Um, I don't think Kami stock in this list at all, but maybe this is a brew. But this is generally speaking colors and a deck that doesn't play a lot of removal. So an Inazuma for like two plus turns, a heck if I untap with an Inazuma, just so much value. And especially just being like pretty low on cards right now, this is definitely like, okay, this is a build. Merfolk, when this character is KO'd by one of your opponent's supplies, place it on top of your deck. deck for your life. Okay, all right, Um, right, we'll redraw, right? Can't be happy about this. Cause like th this is why I'm kind of taking this damage here because like, it feels like a brew. Maybe they're playing Onami. Like, I feel like I can get away with like things not getting banished. I don't know. Right. And then we'll go bounce this deploy. That really sucks. Okay. All right. I will take the next hit. Cause I don't want to get rid of the peel off just yet. So there goes my last Kaya, which really does suck. Oh, oh, okay. All right, they're characters though. There's no triggers that I lost. I will, I will revel in that. I will revel in that. I will draw two cards. Uh, we will keep it simple from there. <laughs> we'll keep, we'll keep. <laughs> Just as I said, I didn't think this deck was <laughs> God, this deck just has to be even even if they're not brewing it's just it's just too much value i guess uh hody jones fair enough tap me out uh what we'll do is yep so they'll they'll come in with that uh we will kind of do this and then we'll pitch fortunate that we lost those uh hody's gonna come in for a swing that's not how that works uh we'll resolve that hit I think what we'll do here, we'll deploy this trash cards. We're at 17. It's getting a little close. That banish was not fun. I will say that banish was not fun. That banish was not fun. We'll end the turn here. Unfortunately, we don't have a white snake. Uh, they could get us by going wide here. They could really get us by going wide. Let's see what happens. I wanted to have this out as potentially a threat. But let's see. Double Hody Jones really messes with us. Um, yeah, double Hody Jones really messes with us. Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. Oh, okay. Fair enough. Uh, 11K. I don't know how much I can really block that out. Um, okay, well, I mean, redraw to nine. We can go gavel pitch. 13. All right, there you go. All right, there you go. There you go. Okay. Okay. Hit him with that. And then eight. Nope. Hmm. Not cards I want. All right. Uh, oh. okay. Let's do this first. Okay. Now let's play this. <clears throat> Maybe I should have gone Zeph then in Azuma. I don't know. I don't really get value by playing this out. I, I still draw two cards. <sighs> God dang. All right, so as far as I'm aware, the double attack shouldn't be able to kill me. A lot of people in my YouTube comments uh, were telling me that you can't double attack for lethal if your opponent still has life. So if I have one life, like this doesn't kill me. Yeah, okay. That's what I was told. I did not know that. I did not know that. So good, I'm testing that out now. I did not know that like that doesn't kill me. But I think I die here regardless. Cause I don't know how I block this out. And then they have this ability to like buff this thing up by like four. So yeah, that's the unfortunate thing. I didn't draw into anything great, but okay. That's how, that's how our kind of trials and tribulations end. I definitely am going to be posting more this week on this specific deck list. So stay tuned for more. Um, but Inazuma, 
kind of good. Kind of good. GG's.